When I'm nervous, I tend to talk fast, so I'm going to try and do my best to slow it down a little bit. Um, just like how I wish this moment could be slowed down. Uh, it's funny, for the past few months, I couldn't wait to get married. Even somewhat jokingly, I asked you if you wanted to sneak down to the courthouse <laughs> to get married early in secret because I've waited my whole life to find a love like yours. We didn't end up doing that, by the way. Just... <laughs> but now that moment is here. I wish I could slow down time just a little and sit in this moment with you. I prayed for this day. I prayed for this kind of love. I prayed for a man like you. The Lord has once again shown his faithfulness in spite of me. Truth is, I've been praying for you a long time. I just didn't know it was you I was praying for. On August 29th, 2018, I wrote a letter in my prayer journal, and I'd like to share an excerpt from it today. It writes, Dear Future Husband, I don't know who you are or where you are. I don't know what you look like, what you enjoy, what makes you happy, sad, and mad. I don't know your passions or your deepest desires, but as I sit here in Starbucks, I'm looking for the, forward to the day that I'm not sitting here alone. Sierra Morel Lee, almost Jordan. <laughs> From this moment, I take you as my best friend for life. I promise to honor, encourage, and support you through our walk together. When our way becomes difficult, I promise to stand by you and uplift you, so that through our unity we can accomplish more than we could alone. I promise to work at our love and always make you a priority in my life. You show me that home doesn't have to be a place, but it can be a person. I promise to pray for you and put God at the center of our marriage. I promise with every beat of my heart, I will love you. And so Father, I pray in, in this moment right now, this special moment, that you just remind their hearts that you are doing the knitting, that you are knitting them together with you. And, and this three-strand cord will not be broken. And so Father, let them trust in the presence of your Spirit. Your love is steady, intentional, warm, and gentle. Your smile is contagious and your heart is golden. Your choice and consistency speak volumes and the way that you deeply care for others is admirable. You are my best friend and I appreciate all you are. We each get the chance to choose someone to navigate this life with and you are my choice. I love you. Now let's do this thing. <laughs> <Seriously>. <laughs>